Once upon a time, in the heart of the wilderness, a compassionate woman embarked on an exploration that would forever change her life. Heather, an ordinary woman with an insatiable wanderlust, found solace in traveling, hiking, and camping whenever her work allowed. She had developed a keen sense of discernment, knowing when to appreciate the distant calls of various animals, both adorable and perilous. Heather knew how to maintain a safe distance and never jeopardized her well-being. However, on one fateful day while traversing the majestic mountains, a peculiar sound beckoned her curiosity, a plaintive cry that tugged at her heartstrings. Determined to uncover the source of this sorrowful wail, Heather forged ahead, defying her better judgment. The grassy terrain concealed the origin of the sound, intensifying her anticipation. With every step, the cries grew louder, their anguished notes piercing the air. And then, as Heather gently brushed aside a tangle of grass, a sight awaited her that would forever be etched in her memory. There, nestled among the foliage, lay a feeble creature, no bigger than a kitten, emitting the mournful cries that had guided Heather to its side. The pitiable creature appeared emaciated, its frail frame a testament to days without nourishment. Covered in a shroud of dirt and dust, it was evident that this forsaken kitten had been abandoned, left to fend for itself with no parental presence to offer solace. Heather's heart swelled with empathy as she beheld the pitiful sight before her. Without a second thought, she scooped up the fragile feline, cradling it in her gentle embrace. In that moment, a bond was formed, a connection between two souls whose paths had serendipitously intertwined. With Heather's steadfast care and nurturing, the once dying cub thrived. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into years, the lion cub transformed into a magnificent beast, embodying strength, grace, and loyalty. Their extraordinary journey together was a testament to the remarkable power of compassion and the resilience of life. Heather's life took an unprecedented turn, forever altered by the incredible bond she had forged with the lion cub she had rescued that fateful day. The tale of their extraordinary friendship would be etched into the annals of her existence, a testament to the boundless wonders that await those with open hearts and the courage to follow the cries of the lost and abandoned. From that day forward, Heather's life was forever intertwined with the enigmatic forces of the wilderness. Her travels took on a deeper purpose as she championed the protection and conservation of all creatures, great and small. In her eyes, every living being deserved the chance to be heard, to be saved, and to experience the transformative power of love and compassion. If she left the kitten there, it would undoubtedly perish. That was simply a part of the circle of life, and it exemplified the cruelty of nature. Instances like this occurred every day, yet did it mean Heather couldn't intervene when given the opportunity? She reached a compromise, she would leave the kitten where it was, but if it remained there and alive the next day, she would rescue it and attempt to nurse it back to health. Heather wasn't going to abandon it entirely, though. She returned to her car and fetched a spare bottle of water and whatever snack she could find. Placing them next to the kitten, it eagerly devoured and drank every last bit. Taking away the litter, she gently stroked the kitten's small head, and in return, it let out a grateful yelp, as if expressing thanks for her kindness. Back at home, Heather found it difficult to sleep. She was consumed by worry for the kitten. As soon as morning broke, she hurried back to the mountains, returning to the exact spot where she had discovered the little creature. To her surprise, the kitten immediately emerged from the grass and trotted towards her, clearly recognizing her from the previous day. It was evident that the tiny helpless animal had placed complete trust in Heather. Moreover, its mother was nowhere to be found, implying that there was only one thing Heather could do. She scooped up the kitten and carried it back to her car, driving carefully to her home. Allowing the little animal to freely roam around her backyard, Heather formed a strong and uncommon bond with it over the next few days and weeks. She ensured that it was fed, wanted for nothing, and had everything necessary for survival. Thanks to Heather's kind assistance, not only did the kitten survive, but it began to flourish and grow larger with each passing day. However, it was during this time that Heather made a shocking discovery. She hadn't rescued a kitten as she initially thought, instead, she had saved a dying lion cub. 
Over time, the cub grew to the size of a small dog, and its features increasingly resembled those of a lion. Heather was astonished by this transformation and, wanted to confirm her suspicion. Taking the cub to a veterinary hospital, she sought confirmation, and the vet's tests indeed revealed that it was a small male lion. The vet advised Heather to release the lion back into the wild, as that was where he truly belonged. However, Heather had formed a deep bond with the cub during their few weeks together. Reluctantly, she realized that a large male lion would not make a suitable pet, they were meant to roam freely in the wild with their own kind. Although their connection was special, it was clear that the lion's well-being was more important, and rehoming him to a more appropriate environment was the best course of action. The vet suggested that Africa would be the ideal place for him to live out his life on the vast, sun-kissed plains, either joining an existing lion pride or forming his own. Arrangements were made, and a few weeks later, the time came for the lion to be transported. Due to his increasing size, it had become challenging for Heather to keep him in her house. Despite his gentle nature, the lion's unintentional destructive behavior made it clear that living together was no longer feasible. Emotions overwhelmed Heather as she bid farewell to her beloved friend, watching him being carefully placed inside a cage on the back of a transport truck. As he let out a deep and sorrowful moan, reminiscent of the one that had first caught Heather's attention years ago, she couldn't help but weep. Many years passed by, and Heather often wondered how her lion friend was faring in his new home. Unfortunately, Heather received devastating news from the doctors. She was diagnosed with an incurable condition and given only a few months to live. Upon contemplating how to spend her remaining time, there was no doubt in her mind about her number one wish, to travel to Africa and see the lion one last time. Heather wanted to ensure that he was doing well and bid him a final farewell. The journey from America to Africa was arduous, especially for Heather, whose condition had made her frail and weak. However, she knew that it would be worth it. Before she knew it, she found herself in a jeep accompanied by safari rangers, venturing into the vast, seemingly desolate plains. The scorching sun beat down relentlessly, and there was no sign or sound of any animals, let alone lions. Eventually, in the distance, Heather noticed a small gathering of trees. Underneath their shade, she made out the distinct shapes of seven or eight lions of varying ages. Some were cubs, others were lionesses, and there was a large, formidable-looking male among them. Could this be the cub she had discovered all those years ago? The jeep pulled up at a short distance from the lions, and the rangers remained alert, keeping a keen eye out for any potential danger. However, Heather surprised them all by stepping out of the vehicle and into the open. The wardens shouted, desperately urging her to return to the safety of the jeep, but it was too late. The lions began to approach slowly, with the large male leading the way. Unfazed, Heather extended her hand, defying everyone's expectations. The lion cautiously stalked forward, sniffing her inquisitively. After a few tense moments, it suddenly dawned on the lion who Heather was. It let out a joyful roar and affectionately rubbed its mighty head against her frail body. The rangers watched anxiously, their nerves on edge, unsure of what would unfold next. However, it was evident that the lion retained memories of his old companion. Heather herself appeared serene and content, tears of happiness streaming down her cheeks. Though the lion could never repay Heather for her actions, nor could he save her from the terminal illness that afflicted her, it meant the world to her to reconnect with her old friend. It all traced back to that fateful day, many moons ago, when Heather had taken pity on the vulnerable lion cub. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on this incredible story? Would you have rescued the distressed lion cub if you had encountered it? Have you ever come across a human and a lion forming such a close and enduring bond? We always appreciate hearing from you, so be sure to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. A woman adopted a lion cub and this experience finally taught her a lesson about life that she never knew before. Have you ever been to someone's house and realized they're different from other houses? If you've been to an Sneeman's house, you'll know why some people are so shocked. Why? Because Anne has a lion in her house. 
she keeps it as a pet. What's more, she has a dog and these animals actually like each other. What is going on? You must be wondering why this animal lover can keep this amazing feline in her home and why it is like a common cat. What is their daily life like? Where is she from? Where is her family? Not have anything to say about her bizarre pet. The lady who keeps this wonderful pet is in Sneeman. She resides near Bella Bella in the Watertown, South Africa, and has always been a lover of animals. Since childhood, she had always loved animals so much. One spring, she adopted a lion cub. The cub needed shelter and care, so she took charge of it. After she decided to take in the lion cub, and soon realized that this was not an easy task. She found out how tiresome maintaining a huge feline actually was. However, she's not unprepared. She had actually done some training to keep the cat in her house. The training was for her to be well versed in taking care of a lion. Timba, the lion cub, soon accepted this harmonious and kind family. Just like other ordinary pets, Timba was a troublemaker. He is somewhat rebellious and misbehaving, always disobeying his owner's orders. For example, he is always caught stealing some food from the kitchen. He acts like other cats. However, there was one thing he was actually good for. Timba would often help around the house since he was only a baby. When and took him in, it's easy to handle and take care of him. After all, little cubs have the cuteness factor that adds to their charm and allure. But as time went by, he grew into a huge size and was getting hard to handle as he grew bigger. Timba soon learned how to walk with his owner and the dog since he was brought up. He was very protective and possessive of Anne in a way. To some extent, he really thought she was his mother. His attachment was blatant when other people came into the house. Whenever there were guests, Timber would become jealous and would place himself between Anne and her guests. Anne loves her pet so much so she always wants to keep both her cat and her dog happy. But since the animals love her so much, they are often jealous. And said, so it can be a challenge with relationships as well, and there are often some jealousy issues about who is going to snuggle up with whom on the couch. She even revealed that Timba was not one to back down when there was a competitor who tried to take Anne's attention. She later revealed to interviewers that he wanted all the attention he could get from her. Whenever she talked about Lion and her dog, and always has a lot of interesting stories to tell. Because dogs and cats are sworn enemies and they fight a lot, which is something we've all seen or heard of. So Timba and Anne's dog often fight. I'm really wondering how to solve the common problem of dogs and lions, she revealed, Timba is usually snuggled up in my lap, while the other person on the other sofa can only be outside. He looks worried. If you're really serious about this, you know it's pointless to try to argue with a huge lion who has learned to do something while being domesticated at Anne's house. Therefore, he became an expert in snuggling up in the couch. This is something that Timba has mastered perfectly. He's fantastic. It's subtly shifting his way onto the couch between myself and whoever's sitting next to me. Sitting on the couch makes him think it's a fun honor. Since she had trained him to behave not as a wild animal but as a domestic pet, Timba's behavior is confusing. He was a feline who absolutely liked cuddling and snuggling with others. He especially loved Anne's hugs and embraces since he was such an expert. He's consistent, so Timba always ends up getting her hugs. There was another joke that Anne made about her jealous pet lion. She revealed that lions would become a good pet for her dad because she learned a lot by taking care of Timba. My dad will be very happy to know that I have a lion because he can keep the boys away from their daughters. Timba always keeps people away from his human mother. He does this very well. Everyone is afraid of lions because we all know lions are wild animals, so they would be concerned about Timba's upbringing and instincts. What happens as Timba gradually becomes an adult lion? Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell, so you can hear more stories. Let's get back to the story. 
and grew up with lots of animals and it's normal for her, so she never thought about it too much about the fact that her pet cat is actually a lion. You must be wondering how she approached such an unusual pet. The woman had many friends and family members who have grown accustomed to Timba. For her family members and close friends, and was able to know how harmless and lovable Timba was while for other neighbors who could blame them, Timba was still a ferocious animal that could potentially be harmful for themselves. And's neighbors are still astounded to see that she often plays with a giant white lion. This is how and feels about this perception. And said that there was initial fear that took over most of her close ones, but they were used to it since Timba was just like a house cat. Because Timba is as well behaved as a house cat, they have learned not to pay too much attention to him. Her family and friends have forced themselves to get used to his presence. They'd have coffee here. When they happened to meet him, they'd share some sweet treats with him, she revealed to interviewers. And knew her friends and family were used to her big cat since Timba was a well-behaved pet. They quickly figured out how to behave around him but other people thought Timba was terrible and had a hard time convincing them even though her pet was harmless. Her neighbors were still afraid of Timba. She said someone who lived near Anne's house was shocked when he saw his neighbor keeping a lion as a pet. They still give her confused looks. When she plays with Timba, her neighbors sometimes show concern. Everyone was amazed at what she did. I often see those drivers slowing down when they glimpse Anne. Having a lion as a pet is strange. It turns out and has another shocking story. It's something in the past. Timba wasn't the only weird pet and had adopted. She actually had another very disturbing animal as her pet before. What is it? How shocking is it? And still had something strange to share about her life. Timba was actually the last adopted wild animal for this animal lover. And began raising other wild animals in 2009. She opened guest farm and began to take in farm animals, with the help of her parents, and has always known that she wanted to save animals in need and she has always been sure about her calling in life that she was born to do this after she opened guest farm. She knew that she wanted to do more. So this hardworking woman applied to the Department of Nature Conservation. Since and had been working with animals her whole life, she was skilled enough to take care of the most dangerous animals after opening her own farm. Then she applied for a permit to the Department of Nature Conservation and they soon gave an a permit, enabling her to adopt and raise wild animals. And was not worried that these animals would threaten her life. In fact, she was excited to be able to take in these wild animals in need. Her excitement was evident after she decided to adopt them. According to her, she felt the sense of fulfillment when she took in these animals. Working with these animals was therapy and unbeknownst. For me, it's the start of a whole new path in my life. It's passionate rather than just a fancy, the woman explained. Since she took them in while they were in need. And naturally felt the sense of their attachment. Since they belong to the wild, she knows a fact that she cannot keep them forever, even though she truly loves all her animals. She has to learn to let go of these wild animals, setting them free in the wild. She loves all the animals she has adopted as if they're her own children. She loves to nurse them back to health and shower them with food and affection. They inspired her maternal instinct. After raising and caring for the animals she adopts, she finds it's extremely difficult to say goodbye to them and part ways. After realizing she couldn't part ways with her adopted animals, she decided to do something about it. And needed to make sure she won't have to deal with such a difficult problem in the future. She quickly applied for a permit so she could keep wild animals permanently. Her requests are granted, but sometimes she struggles with her daily tasks. After getting permission, and no longer worries about Timba. She can now take care of this adorable cub and watch him grow into an adult. As time goes by, the last cub she adopts is no longer a beautiful white lion cub. And loves the lion and the lion loves her too. Its love for her is palpable. Just like we mentioned before, she always has something funny to say about her cat. Timba is not a lion to make and happy. 
It's very possessive and jealous. She finds it difficult for her to social because everyone is afraid to approach her. Eventually Timba changed its mind. And said, I'm in a relationship now. Thankfully, Timba has totally accepted my lover as one of the family. It turned out Timba was not spoiled at all as compared to the ones that had previously owned. The loving owner claimed that the other feline she took in was more spoiled and naughty. She described the cats and claimed that the first group of lions reared on the farm ruled the house, the bed, and the couches. They would regularly join me for swims in the farm. And also claimed that the first wild cat she owned had taught her something about herself. She revealed that those cats ignited her passion and directed her towards the unimaginable path and life experiences. And not only lived a comfortable life, but also saved many animals in urgent need of help. She has never had fear in front of her pets. She always spent time with them and care for them whenever they needed. She always kept them near her but there's one thing she never lets her guard down. A person can never feel 100% safe around lions because they have natural instincts. They act according to their instincts. She started explaining how cautious she was. I personally believe my lions won't attack me out of anger but I have some scratches and bruises from interacting with them. She spends a lot of time with them so feels like they would never attack her out of spite. Even if she gets hurt, no cat owner would mind having their pet cat always leaves her with bruises. And is not just a caretaker of lions. She considers them her own children. Most people are surprised by this. It has become a part of my life. And told the interviewers. And is like other pet owners. When she was alone in the wild, those animals could kill her at any time if they weren't her pets. But this woman is doing what she can to give them a better life. If you like this video, please like and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you next time.